I'm cherishing a secret in my bosom about this dreadful stage life that I lead. I've heard it said that pros are decent people, but according to the papers that I read, both actresses and actors are dead wrongers, whether from the palace or the hippodrome. The chaps I meet outside know I'm an actor, but I never breathe a word of it at home. So my mother doesn't know I'm on the stage. It would break a poor old heart if she found out. She knows I'm a deserter from the Scottish Fusiliers. She knows I stole a blind man's can. That got me seven years. She knows I've been connected with a gang of West End pests and the police have had me twice inside the cage. And she knows I mix with ladies that have got a shady past, but my mother doesn't know I'm on the stage. Sometimes she sees the powder on me clothing, and then it's such a nuisance to explain. If she thought it was powder, she'd go crazy. Of course, I have to tell her it's cocaine. The day she met me out with Gladys Cooper, she started screaming murder and police and would have caused a dreadful scene in public. So I told her that the girl was Crippen's niece because my mother doesn't know I'm on the stage. And when I draw 600 pounds each week, if she knew where it came from, she'd shoot me like a dog. So I said I stole the money box from an Irish synagogue. She can think that I'm a murderer before she'll know the truth. I have to have respect for her old age. And she knows that I'm a bigamist, a blackguard and a crook. But thank heaven she don't no, I'm on the stage. Recitation. I'm a lover of nightlife in London. When I start, I can go pretty fast. I've blotted me copybook, I must admit, when I think of my future that's past. I've been a bad lad to me parents. I'm a rip and I just live for crime. The last thing I ripped was me nighty coming down the stairs two at a time. I've lurked round some dens in my travels and was told I would come to no good when I told them that day at the workhouse what to do with their old Christmas pool. My curse has been ladies and lime juice. In the West they call me the big noise. The fat of the land's what I live on. Grease dripping and pork saveloys. Scotland Yard's got a photograph of me. In me gaiters and dolly dyed vest. But I'll tell of the raid I was in once at the Cat Gut Club somewhere up west. I started the night with a gamble. Fourpence is nothing to me. With a couple of chinks I stood tossing for drinks, roast peanuts and sauces of tea. That night I shall never forget, sir, the band playing Home Sweet Home. I sat sucking a lemon and shouting good health to the old cock who played the trombone. I lounged with a girl in the palm court. She'd a low-necked chest at the back. Her blouse, it was cut to and from and all but with the tips of her fingers in black. She'd come from a very big family. Who knows, perhaps a publican's daughter. On Dragey's settee, she got rather too free with the champagne I'd very near bought her. Later on, we danced round and I noticed she took size 11s in shoes. I said to myself, she's a copper when she asked me if I knew the blues. Round went the tic-tac, police boys, so I smuggled my soda and milk. I grabbed a seashell from the fire grate and disguised myself there as a wilt. Just then someone switched off the lights, boys. In the dark I got quite a shock. I was feeling me way and heard one girl say, Will you stop your tickling, Jock? It was a case of blind man's buff then. Strike a match, I heard one copper holler. It was my rotten luck when the match had been struck it set fire to my celluloid collar. An officer pulled out his handcuffs and whispered I must do my bit. Then he said it's no use, I apologise. 
when he found the darn things wouldn't fit. So they took us all off for a joyride to the sergeant, Mr. Everyman. I said, please put us in with a lino and cart us there in a plain van. Next morning we turned up at Bow Street and stood looking solemn and sad. We had to stand there. There was only one chair. That's the one that the magistrate had. He fined us, he did, for each one paid a quid. And the judge said, I'll soon stop your row. But it's cured me of dancing with policemen. Only sailors and chorus boys now. And now I'm going to have a small poet. Ta-ta!